I'm born in 1990. I'm not 50. <laughs> Welcome to Sparkling Harmonies. We're your hosts, Lily. And Francois. And we are two friends who don't quite listen to the same bands or genres. But we are here to talk about everything and anything music related. Yay! Yay. So today we're in the pretty much the start, I guess, official of summer. Yeah. Uh, we are at the end of June right now. So uh, we're going to talk about summer songs and what exactly makes a summer song. Um, but before we get into that, let's see what we've been listening to. So what have you been listening to, Francois? Uh, the band that Teenage Bottled Rocket just put out a new song. Uh, mm -hmm. I was already a big fan of the band. Um, I was supposed to see them before the pandemic hit mm. and the show was canceled, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I really like their style. They are funny. In fact, I really recognize myself in that band. Like, okay. It, in the, it, in the lyrics or in the. Everything, the lyric, the visual, the guys together, because. If you look at the band pictures, the official pictures, there's no serious pictures. They always mm. like making fun. And so there's always a guy that not looking at the right place or something like that. Okay. And I, I really like their humor because, so, for example, the song they put out is a ghost story. Mm -hmm. And don't quote me because I didn't uh, look at the movie yet, but I think it's based on the movie, A Ghost Story. Uh, I saw the trailers. Uh, It's basically the same story. It's a guy died and he's a ghost next to his girlfriend and he's looking okay. at her going up and moving on from him. Right. Uh, so Teenage Bottle Rocket put it on the funny side, I guess. She learned. And they did a with... cool animation for, yeah, for the yeah, video clip. Yeah. And, but the movie, it's really more like sad than that yeah. because the, the guys from the trailer, like I said, I didn't look at the movie yet but from the trailer the guy learned to live with his wife or ex-wife i don't know how to put that mm -hmm. his widow his widow wife yeah um with a new guy with kids the kid that he didn't add so mm -hmm. it's, it's maybe more like well, it's, a sad, it's a sad movie but they put it they put a, a humorous yeah and a humorous twist. twist on it right yeah and okay. i really enjoy the band and they, they always make like funny song like for example they had a song All the lyrics, or almost all the lyrics, are a title of song of Metallica. Okay. So it's it, it just like a party going on, and people say Megadeth is better, and Metallica is better, and there's a fight, and all the lyrics are title song. So okay. they, they just like making fun of popular culture. Uh, mm -hmm. there, there's a, a video, if you like to see their visual, uh, they did a whole video clip in uh, Minecraft. And oh, wow. the song is about the persona you playing. I don't I, because I didn't play Minecraft at Me all. Neither. But it's on the first person view, so yeah, you're, you're someone or you're yourself, depend on how you want to put it. Mm -hmm. And they, they write a song from the eyes of this person, so it, it's just funny. It's called, they call me Steve. <laughs> so okay. that, that's what I'm into right now, and. What about you, Lydie? So the main just released a new song from their upcoming album. The, the, the album is coming out in a little over a week. Um, and this is the fourth track that they've released from that album. So the song is called Pretender. Um, it's very emo. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. It's like, I think when, wait, let me, let me, I wrote this down. The part of the chorus is, show me the real you, misunderstood can feel so good. Um, and they, Pat, the, the drummer also mentioned that this is probably the closest they'll get to pop punk. Um, so this is like, this is a little bit of a heavier song compared to the three other ones that have released so far from that album. So uh, they released April 7th, Lips and Sticky, which is a lot more pop. Um, and so this one has a little bit more guitar riffs. And I really like it. I, I really, really like it. It's really good. They've released a, a lyric video for it. I don't know if they'll actually release a full video, music video. Um, but yeah, so this is getting me really excited for their upcoming album. I have they, to say, it's the first song I really enjoy from them. Really? Well, I think it's because I haven't sent you any of the like heavier songs. Yeah, so maybe far. it's the pop song side of them, I guess, mm -hmm. because that was really catchy. 
a little bit of emo, but not too much. Uh, I yeah. don't know. No, it's it's really good. I really it, I, I've listened to it a lot this past week, so I, I'm 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 really really excited to hear the rest of their album. Like, because I've mentioned this before, but you know, you never know if you're gonna like music from an artist that you like already, especially if it's been a few years. Um, so I, I, so far I've liked all song, all the song, the four songs that they've released from this upcoming album, which is XOXO from love and anxiety. I think that's the full title. Um, and so I, I really can't wait to hear the rest. Yeah. And I wish you that is not the only four song that are good for you because <laughs> yeah. sometimes it's happened. Yeah, and there's a lot of band that put out like the best song of the album, and after when you get the whole album, you're like okay, but there's the rest is like me. Eh. <laughs> yeah, or not as good. Or yeah, but I mean, for me, the main they haven't released an album that I had that didn't, didn't like. No, that's not true. I think one of the <laughs> albums had to grow on me. It had to grow on me, but I ended up liking it. Um, but like their last album, it was just like the the first song came out. It was really good. I think I'll send this one to you, Hasua. Numb Without You is one of their heavier songs, and yeah. from that album, there's also um, Tears Won't Cry. That's a, I think that that album as a whole was a lot more guitar oriented. There was okay. a lot more guitar, so I think you'd enjoy those songs a little bit more. Um, there's the like I said, Numb Without You, and then there's also Heaven. We're already there, so those songs are more. Um, I think they'd be a little bit more up your alley. Oh, cool. I will try. Well, I'll, I'll and, send those to you later. And before we go into our main uh, discussion, uh, I will also point out that this year, it's uh, the third, 30, yeah, 30. Sorry, I'm really bad with numbers. 30 PA. Anniversary? Or, yeah, sure. of uh, Metallica Black Album. Okay. And they put out a special spin uh there's like a big box uh I, like you you will uh, always see like you have the posters uh, I'll, i don't know how many edition of the same song and demos mm -hmm. and stuff like that and they asked if i'm not mistaken 50 artists to cover their song wow so that's a went, lot yeah and they went all over the place so so it's uh in fact it's because they're 50 because it's 1991 so this may, that makes sense. So I will rewind. It's the 50th anniversary of no, the album. No, 30. 1991. It's 30. I'm, nine, I'm born in 1990. I'm not 50. <laughs> but, but why 50 artists then? Oh. Or whatever. <laughs> and 1990. It's, it's after you were born. <laughs> oh, I'm boy. Not that old. <laughs> and okay. Uh, my bad. <laughs> it's but, 30. 30. Yeah. So there's 50 artists that does covers and they went all over the place. From now on, there's only two out. It's Saint Vincent and, and Miley Cyrus. Oh, wow. So I'm really like curious to see where it's going because mm -hmm. that that's kind of a fun game to do. Yeah. Like, like, it is, you like yeah. our song? Just like, play them for us and like do your own twist. So it's like a cool celebration. Yeah, it's different. Instead yeah. of hearing the same thing over and over again. So or just like so sometimes they'll like remaster the album, you yeah. know. And it's, yeah, it's but, basically the same. Thing. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Maybe a more modern twist to it. Yeah. But. Oh no, that's really cool. That's really, I had I hadn't heard about that. It's really interesting. So it's not 50, it's 30. Sorry. 30. Yeah. Also, <laughs> doesn't know how to count, but it's okay. We forgive him. He doesn't, he's, he doesn't work with numbers. Not at all. Not <laughs> at all. But my wife would probably laugh at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> 1991, 50 years. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so today's subject is what makes a good summer song? Um, so for me personally, at first, when, when Francois pitched this idea to me, he wanted to say, what's your summer track? And I was like, I don't have one. Um, just because I don't listen to seasonal music other than Christmas. Uh, like Christmas time is the a... only... It, it's, I'll listen to whatever I listen to regularly at the beach, at the pool, whatever. Like There's no songs that I will listen more during the summer. And there's no song that will really define a summer for me. Um, unless but, it's like but, an but album that came out right before. you have a Halloween thing going on too. 
Not really. really. No. Ah, we're sure you just had just Christmas. The... Just uh, Christmas. Oh yeah, I was pretty sure you had the a domain. Well, th- there's one of their albums that's called Forever Halloween, but I don't only listen to okay. it at Halloween um, because it's not like necessarily Halloween themed. Um, okay. So Francois went more like his summer songs and i really went more into research on what makes a summer song why are some songs called summer songs um so i'll be more like fact fact spewing today than um my Uh, actual i I, I did a little research too but after like five minutes i was already popping songs in my head like ah remind me that song or remind me that mood or that moment so I, I made a playlist. Maybe I will share it just to. Because, like, so it, it depends. Because, like, for me, I guess summer was Warp Tour for a while. So it's like all of those bands, but it's all the bands that I used to listen to all year round, anyways. Yeah, but maybe some of those songs get into the summer song because they were played all over again, like every day really? during summertime. I- because I don't know, because so I went really more on mainstream, oh, and okay. I, I researched like what what Spotify's summer songs are and stuff like that. So I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but to really get started, uh, I went and I I tried to find a definition of a summer song, and there was multiple. So one of it was songs that spends the most time on top of a, the Billboard. In May, which is weird, because because May isn't isn't summer yet. Yeah, um, so it really specified that. I forgot which website I, I read this on, but it was really specified in May, which makes no sense to me. Um, yeah, but maybe because it's take it's predicting. Like, yeah, maybe it's take the whole stage. So before maybe. everything go on vacation, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess or like I guess. You know, there, there are songs that are going to be released like end of spring, beginning of summer, and those are going to be the songs that, of course, will be spinning on the radio more because they were released at that time. Um, so I guess it kind of makes sense, but I don't, I don't feel like a song that's on top in May will define the summer. I don't know. So that was the first one. Um, second one was like, it's more, you know, songs that have a, a, a chill vibe or party vibe um because people party more in the summer um chill for like more like evenings for lounging around and stuff like that um there's tropical is also something that came up a lot um latin latin america like latin music infused also like those types of sounds are also usually associated with summer and then when you go into lyrics it was more like beach hot weather (laughs) <laughs> um, bikini swimming, um, road trips, surfing, which which is kind of funny because there are places in the world where it's like that all year round. Like the beach is all year round, surfing is all year round, but it's still like generally seen as summer songs when we're talking about that, which is a little bit, you know, I find it really interesting. Um, and then. It's also mostly positive songs, like positive lyrics, positive messages. Because I think for a lot of people in the world, as kids, we're already, we're, we see summer as happy. Yes, it's because, supposed to be. <laughs> because for a lot of people, like, I know there are people around the world that have school year round. But, you know, for a lot of people, summer poor means damn, no school. Poor them. <laughs> You know, as kids, summer means no school, so happy because they don't have to study. And that's like ingrained in into us so young that that's I think that's why the summer songs are usually more positive rather than like very uh, depressive songs, which yeah, are more like and, for and fall. To surf, to surf on that, I will have that. Let's be realistic. 14 years old girls decide what's hot in culture. Mm. If something get big on TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook before, and uh, it's gonna get popular everywhere. So I guess putting out a song and call it a summer song or whatever at that time, probably mm-hmm. because the kids are not in school, so they do like your um, 
your ad for you like freely. yeah i guess yeah <laughs> true so what 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 are your opinions on this? Because that I like I said, I don't listen to seasonal music other than for Christmas. But my first, the the first attempt at the reflection I had was why there's summer song and no winter song and no autumn song. I was curious. But, but I think there are fall songs because fall songs. I feel like people will associate it more to like chill like even more chill um more sad because it's getting colder it's getting rainy yeah but there's no top summer song and the top, no, no, top song fall song the, <laughs> yeah there, there's no and even that the for, for example you have the summer song it's a big hit like like you said it's on the radio it's a uh, it's on sometime it's on uh in a movie like mm -hmm. uh remember uh farrell with happy yeah that was really big as a summer song. It mm -hmm. respond to all the description you gave and sure. add to that. That was like the summer blockbuster, I guess. Uh, yeah. With the Despicable Me. Did that was it from Despicable Me? I don't know. I'm not good with yeah, movies. the little uh, yellow uh, minions. That was Dep Despicable yeah. Me. Yeah. So I, I, I didn't pinpoint why summer unless because everything everyone is on vacation like you said and maybe because kids are not in school you you, you throw something for that vibe that vibe like, or yeah, yeah. And, and that because that that's funny it's like a an anthem because yeah there, there's always at least during summer a time where it's defined one song is the summer song of yeah. like this summer. You, yeah. you can and I'll, I'll I'll get into that because I, I I got I, I I took out Spotify's most listened to summer songs for the past five years, so we can oh, talk about that a little bit later. And, and and I'm pretty sure there's a there's a section of the Billboard called summer song too, and all like radio stuff. Mm. So th th there's I don't know if can we call that a genre or at least a pattern because. I don't know, because, I mean, these are songs that could be released any time of the year. Mm. And I feel like the genre changes according to what's popular that year also. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Because they're, they're not all the same. No, no. So no, no I'll, I'll, I'm going to, like I said, I, I took out since, since 2016, and they're not the same. But it's, it's all in the pop realm there's no True, like, yeah well i mean but that's that's because the only time we talk about summer songs is like what's popular yeah so it's you know it's, it's in it's pop radio music time. it's it's radio exactly exactly because there's no like you don't really hear about summer songs in like metal i don't <laughs> See, I don't I, think so. And no, no, but I know there's a black metal, black metal uh, summer um, uh, playlist on Spotify, like an official Spotify playlist. Really? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, at this point, there's just a playlist for anything. There, there. If you Google it, there's probably gonna be <laughs> yeah, uh, like your your best fall fall punk songs too. Yeah, but. On the other end, like the black metal genre as a whole, it's probably more of a winter <laughs> vibe. But see, I feel like those people won't listen to the regular summer songs either. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. Because you know, like I, I, I get, I just don't, I, I, I just always listen to the same things all the time. And I guess the only time where I was up to date, if you will with what was popular in the summer was when I externed in Florida because that was the only time I really, really always listened to the radio. Mm. Um, because like I can name you all those summer songs because all of those summer songs, my, my, my friend and I couldn't listen to anymore. <laughs> like, honestly, because we, we drove to work. Well, she drove. I didn't drive. Um, thanks, Emily. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and, you know, it was sometimes in the morning, it was like 45 minutes. In the evening, it was like an hour or something. That's like, oh, it was once a week. Um, and then in the and during the weekend, since we were in Florida, we were always road tripping around to see as many beaches as possible. That was our goal. 
in the three months, see as many beaches as possible. Um, so I know like all of those songs and when I hear any of those songs now, because it's been long enough, like it, it brings me back to that summer. But back then I couldn't listen to it anymore because no matter what radio station you were going to listen to, it was the, the same, same like 10 songs. Yes. So we were so tired of it. She would hear the beginning and then she would just like next and the next. And then it was always the same songs, but like, you know, it was summer 2016. So there was, um, I, off the top of my head, there was like, I took a pill in Ibiza from Mike Posner. Um, there was, uh, that Calvin Harris, Rihanna song. Uh, this is what you came for. Wait, I wrote it down. Maybe. This but is what you came for. There's cheap thrills from Sia. Um, there was a uh, cake by the ocean. Oh, and that remember what last, last, last episode we talked about, um, melodies and stuff like that. Yes. That was a song that I tried to find the title of for so long. <laughs> but the, the problem is that some of the lyrics from the chorus, the only part that I remembered back then was, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's actually, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's oh, like, the it's real not, lyric. <laughs> yeah. So I actually, I Googled, uh, yeah, 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 song. <laughs> and I think I actually found it that way. Um, but yeah, Thanks so. Google to being our brain. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So. Like, that's the only time, and all of those songs, I think, was kind of, back then, what was popular was, like, more of the club-sounding yeah. songs. Maybe it was because I was in South Florida, also. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think so, because uh, we, uh, okay, it's not the same thing, because it's, I, I, did it, I didn't do it, like, as long as you did. For three months, like, you get, like, burned. <laughs> but when we go on a vacation, I always try to listen to the local radio mm -hmm. you see like maybe there's different stuff and i remember when we were in Hungary, there mm -hmm. was a song that was played everywhere like and what year was this uh 2017 i think okay I, I i it's a joke between me and my girlfriend i all my wife whatever i'm always confused with the term <laughs> um I, I stand this heard the song like once in a while just for, for laugh because you forget about it. And like you said, mm -hmm. you heard like the three first notes and you're like, oh, that song. And the worst part is like we said in the last episode, we don't understand the lyrics. Mm -hmm. But I saw the song, I saw the music video because uh, much music is still popular over there. But it was still popular. MTV, probably, because yeah. much music yeah. is Canadian. Yeah. Sorry. So there, there was like TVs and bars and on uh, uh, terras. It, it's uh, it's patios, yeah. outdoor dining. Okay. Patios. And mm -hmm. and they they, were, they put TVs everywhere to put like the videos of each song. Okay. So, like, but like you said, you hear the same song every radio channel you take. Yeah. Every like TVs probably have it, and like I don't know why it's, but I understand why it's getting popular, but I don't understand why it's become this song. Like, who chose the summer song of, of the yeah. year? Well, I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with the music industry, and like, yeah, there's money the, behind the, it. From, from exactly, from. like the 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 labels pushing. Um, because being, being, knowing BTS now and having been witness of their, I guess their, their, like one of their releases, you see how, um, so I, I don't, I didn't do a lot of research on this, but like <laughs> their song was basically released almost at the same time as Olivia something Rodrigo. Yeah, um, Rodriguez, no, Rodrigo. Rod yeah. Her song, Good For You. Yes. And what was weird was, like, they're all, they're, they've been battling, like, number one, number two on the Billboard different charts for the last, like, five weeks. Um, and one of the things that was weird that fans are, want, demand, like, a little more transparency for was BTS's song had, like, half of their um, listens filtered off on spotify okay 
which doesn't really then so people are saying that Spotify is uh or the the label her label I guess is trying to push her single up so like there were ads for her single on Spotify and stuff like that and that's why like there was filtered listens also which was weird um okay. because the fan base is very organized yeah yeah it's, it's from, what, from what from what from what i've 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 understood they understand that you can't just listen to a song on repeat not, because not anymore. then because then you'll be considered a bot and they'll be deleted so like they're Everybody said, okay, so if you're listening, you will listen to other songs too. So it doesn't make sense that a lot of song, a lot of listens are being filtered because most of the fandom knows how to stream properly. So, which was weird. So, and versus like hers, there was basically nothing, like nothing filtered. So there's a lot of industry behind this that's pushing because they probably want that song to be the, the yeah, summer probably. song. They, they put money where they want to get money. Yeah, I guess. That. So, anyways, that was like my little my little side rant, but that it does tie in with the fact that the the big players of the industry, I think, have a lot of say in what makes the yeah, summer probably. song. Probably, but that's funny because every year the song that get pushed like the more the most mm -hmm. always find a way to get accept or popularized by the people mm -hmm. well, i mean at some point if you hear it enough yeah like, repeat something over and over and again and it's going to be true yeah it's <laughs> like i i'm not oh wait, let's okay let, let's let's start looking at my my uh, yeah, yeah. my list okay so in 2016 the song of the of the summer was one dance by drake i don't know what it is uh, i know who, I, who drake I, is but is it the song like he's doing the weird dance move? I don't know. I, I I'm 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 not very knowing in this area either. <laughs> when I listened to it earlier, I recognize it, but I I I'm not confident enough to like sing it, because um, <laughs> I don't know it well enough. Um, so that was 2016, and 2017, uh, it was Despacito. Oh my Justin god! And no. the, the remix. No, um no. so see <laughs> i hear like, it now <laughs> yeah right right me too but i like i'm not a fan of justin bieber particularly like i don't hate him i don't like him you know i'm just like neutral but i heard that song so often that i'm like it is catchy and i do enjoy it when i hear it but i think it's really just because i've heard it so many times and it's associated to, to memories now because it played a lot when when my class and when like half of my class and I we left and when we went to uh, Dominican Republic to celebrate the graduation. It played at our graduation ball, and so like I have all those memories associated with it. Um, and I feel like since it is it was played a lot during the summer, people heard it during the summer, so people will associate it with yeah, good memories. Too. And I feel and, like that's how it gets. And but like it's also by just by repetition, I feel like. Because that song played everywhere. And if I'm not mistaken, it's it was a, a an older song that was remixed and Yeah, I think so too. I, I again I'm not a specialist in that kind of music, but me neither. I remember hearing that I think there were two guys in that group or and they they already had like something on their part of the world because I don't remember mm -hmm. where to come from. Yeah, me neither. I, I think it's South America, but I'm not. I sure. think so too. And, and they didn't like get enough attention in the, in the yeah. United States. And so then, and they, then Justin Bieber yeah. remixed it and got added it, on. Yeah, he's he, he doing a little part in it. I think. Yeah, he's, he's and singing, it exploded. Like, okay. It exploded, yeah. like. I don't think you can talk to anybody who doesn't know that song. It's even played in the um, uh, the show we had at the end of the year, the, the Bye Bye. It, it's in French. Yeah. And they did a remix in French, like mocking the song. So yeah. Even my yes. mother heard it at least once. <laughs> everybody knows that song. And it's probably, it was probably once again pushed. 
Yeah. But because how does like, yes, Justin Bieber is popular, but nobody doesn't know that song. I feel like nobody, like everybody's heard it. Yeah. That was everywhere. Seriously, everywhere. Yeah. And it was, oh. it was to the point that a lot of people actually got annoyed by it. <laughs> I, I am. I am. I heard it <laughs> so much. So I, I don't know. It, it, like you said, it got burned in your brain. Even if you don't want to listen to it, you, you know the song by heart. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was everywhere. And so that was 2017. <laughs> it's going to be a long ride. <laughs> uh, 2018, it was In My Feelings by Drake, which is a song that I, I had never heard. I, I listened to it and I was like, mm -hmm. but I guess it's because I stopped listening. Like, because in 2016, I was doing my externship. So I, I, I knew songs. 2017, I was graduating. So there was, like, I was still at optometry parties and stuff. And then okay. 2018, I just stopped listening to the, to the radio. <laughs> so I have no idea what the song is. I, I never heard it. You, I don't you know too? either. No, I, I don't listen to music radio, so. Yes, me neither. But, but you do know Despacito. <laughs> I, I know, I know. This song is so annoying. <laughs> and then 2019, it's Senorita by Sean Mendes and Camila Cabello. This one I know. Can you call me senorita? Na, 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 So this one I know. Uh, I don't okay. know why I know, but I know it. Um, and so this one was the, I think it was that one, yeah. So this was when was 2019. Okay. And then 2020 was Rockstar by Da Baby, which I don't know the song either. <laughs> I've never heard that name. Me neither. <laughs> see, so, so it's interesting because these are the these were the most streamed songs of those summers on Spotify. But I, I wonder, like, does is it because do people stream it after they listen to, to it on the radio, or do they just put it on, or or is it because they're pushed on those playlists, like those summer yeah, playlists? The, the, probably the the playlist phenomena is behind that kind of numbers. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who just listen to playlists like we did in a previous episode. There's a yeah. lot of people that listen to only playlists and it's probably their closest experience to live radio. radio. So like workplaces. And yeah. if I'm not mistaken, there's many enterprise uh, like business, like uh, uh, pharmacology, uh, uh, no, pharma pharmacist. Mm-hmm. They, they had their own channels because they, they, oh. sell, you, you, they don't want to uh, like having like a, a violent stuff songs or, or anything, yeah. song. So they have like a playlist. So probably now with Spotify, it's so easy to do mm -hmm. a playlist. They probably have a computer somewhere and every, every uh, pharmacist around the province or the country push play on the same playlist. And listen but you know, to that's interesting. Song. Because I've read somewhere, this could, this could be another subject one day, but a lot of the commerces, like mm -hmm. stores, restaurants, they're playing music, but they're not allowed to. Because uh, you we need to pay for a, a license. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, we, we but nobody have, does. Uh, specialists. Did nobody does, or some does. I know that um, Unipri had or their own radio okay. station for okay. only their shop. Because when you're in a Unipri, you hear the, the lady speaking. You're listening to Unipri radio and like have a good day. <laughs> I, and stuff. So I, I, don't, they, I don't go to Unipri. <laughs> where I come from, there's only a Unipri. <laughs> okay, I see. <laughs> but, okay. I, but, but I'm pretty sure there's numbers that, that link to the playlist phenomena, like for words or people that don't care about like discovering music. They just mm -hmm. want background noise. So, yeah. But I, I'm this is this is an interesting subject to me because I I didn't know that you needed a license to listen. So like even if you're just playing the radio or something, I don't think you're allowed. You're technically allowed to in a store. Yeah, probably because you're diffusing. I don't know. We we, we exactly. should find someone yeah. that knows about this stuff. Yeah, and so what you mentioned that you had your summer play your summer songs playlist. What songs came to mind to you? Because I I kind of just said you know what. 
the internet told me because I don't <laughs> have a personal opinion on yeah. actual summer songs. But for, what what make a summer song for me? Like mm -hmm. you you already mostly said said them all. So I, it's like it's linked to a mood to it like a moment. Like sometimes a summer song for me was a song I used to listen in summer, but there's no link between this song and the summer song. Yeah, so thing. what was it was it necessarily released in the no, summer? Not at all. Not okay. at all. Yeah, yeah. Okay. For, for me it's more it's mostly uh like I was there at this moment and this song played or this song feel nice during mm -hmm. that time. So and you, you you got something i was surprised to me that was something positive and you said like in the criteria that's supposed to be or oh, at least normally positive so i was like okay because if i make that in contrast with black metal i don't want to hear like someone killing someone else during like winter time when mm -hmm. i was like taking a beer with my friends and that that's another point to me a summer song normally is more inclusive like more welcoming because i know i like extreme music and i know not everyone like that so summer song i i tend to go on the more soft side and because i want to yeah yeah go oh uh, is this like even what in what you personally listen to just yourself or is it just when you're with people both because I'm not in the same mood. I mm. I try to listen to music outside with my friends, with my family. So I don't want to put the radio. So I try to find songs because I'm I am the music person, mm -hmm. in, in, at least in my house. <laughs> so I try to put music something that, that's like crowd pleasing. Yeah, and but on the other hand, that's something I will enjoy too. So mm -hmm. there's song like. I ask you. I ask myself: Is is there any genres that feel mm -hmm. more summery? It, it, yeah, I know it's not a word, but <laughs> yeah, no, it's summery. But, summery is a word. Yeah, but there's like. like there's easy answer, like cliche, like reggae and spa, yeah, like feel more happy and upbeat. So yeah. maybe summertime. But, and, and like I said earlier, like anything, and like I know this is this might be very like gen generic, but anything that sounds kind of tropical like there 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 are a lot of songs that have like tropical remix which is yeah. i guess like more like islander or more um Bongo like reggae style <laughs> yeah and then also all those latin american influences also yes and i don't so know the, it, it, because i i can't imagine myself listening to bob marley during a snowstorm it's like it, it doesn't work yeah see like i don't have a problem with with, I, like, I don't have a problem and what but I, with, and what I listen to. I don't have a problem, but that won't be the name that will pop up in my head. Hmm. Like, so th there's some genres that I tend to listen to more rap or rap oriented music during summer. Okay. Again, because it's easier, it's more like people pleasing, <laughs> I mm -hmm. guess. And I realize there's a lot of bands that come in my music rotations during summertime like okay. there's band like long beach double star i never listened to that band but summer uh -huh. arrived and i'm ready to push the play button to listen to them all over again <laughs> okay wow well, okay huh no see like that that's what's very mystifying for me because i don't get that because in the summer, what I would probably listen to most would be the bands that are coming into town back when I used to, like, change a lot. Yeah. But that could be any band. Yes, that could be. So but there was sometimes it's clash between what you're listening to, like, in the your day-to-day -day and the band that's coming. <laughs> no, because the bands that I listen to are all, like, very <laughs> similar. Well, and I really tend to listen to uh I, I don't know like song longer with the longer build up and really repetitive like uh Ben Harper or uh, Beck and stuff like that, that mm -hmm. like they, they build Builds something they, they they had 
I tend to to prefer more electronic music. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe like there's no uh, daily uh, daily grind that put between me and the song. I don't know. It's, it's just I'm in the mood for that kind of music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know because I feel like a lot of people, you know, like there's you and me who actively look. Well, you actively look for new music. <laughs> Um, but like, you know, we, we're not people who necessarily listen to what's popular now. And it's not something that, that like piques our interest necessarily either. Like, I have no idea what, (laughs) yeah, but it's, I I don't like them because they're popular, but that's different, but they are popular, but like, I, I don't, you know, like some people only know people who are playing on the radio. And even then, some people don't even know who those <laughs> people are. Radio? So I feel like summer songs for most people is what's going to be playing in the summer. So what gets released right before summer and what gets released before summer fits what you said, which is more positive, more like chill, more something that is easier to listen to, which yeah, is I- like... I will do a little segue. Last year, I participated in a, a psychology research with my mm-hmm. university. And that was the link. I'm pretty sure the student behind was a psychologist. And mm-hmm. she was studying the link between music and emotion. Okay. And because um, I think it's musical therapy. I'm mm-hmm. not sure. And like I buy answering the question i discover to me music is really related to emotion to experience to memories Mm -hmm. so it's maybe for me i can switch for the summer vibe because i'm linked emotionally to those songs or to memories with the song because Mm -hmm. there's many songs i can remember like the first time i i heard it or what a good time i had with this friend or this friend while this music was playing okay so i don't i i do a lot i i, I link song with people i don't know why um, i do that but their song well, is, oh that song remind me of this person even if yeah. i never listened to that song with that person that's fair i mean because the, it's the vibe that the song gives off and that's that's completely i feel like that's not something that's that out of the ordinary but it's just not something that i do at all <laughs> so so you have a really platonic link with music <laughs> I, I guess i don't know i don't know yeah it's interesting because like i said i just listen to whatever at whenever like i know some people will, will listen to like certain types of music depending on how they feel yes i, I do. don't really I, I use music to feel something if that, mm-hmm. that makes sense Mm-hmm. Instead of instead of being sad, I listen to sad music. So that I don't yeah. know. Yeah, to me, well, it's I, like it's like the people who watch sad movies when they're sad. Yeah, I, I, I will do a um, uh, parallel. Yeah, parallel. Parallel. It's when you have a song in your head, the only way to kill it is to listen to it. That's not true. That's not true for me. I, I'm not saying it's true or not, but. <laughs> But it's, it's the same thing with the emotion. If I feel like really happy or really angsty, I have like a file with songs linked with that emotion that I will listen to to expurge. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I feel like a lot of people do that. It's like a lot of people, you know, if, if they're feeling angry, they'll listen to those angsty, angry songs to get the anger out. Yeah. And it, the same thing I do when I play music. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I think I'm mostly a really relaxed person in my life, but I play in a like kind of heavy metal band, like dead core stuff. And but mm-hmm. in my life, I don't represent that. I don't even have no. tattoo. I'm pretty sure someone see me in the street doesn't link me with that kind of music. Right. But it's helped me to deal with the- like push the stress out or like. It's mm-hmm. just like I I feel or I live that emotion through music. Yeah. And I mean, that's I funny. Feel, 
That's well, funny I because what, if you don't feel it, I'm like surprised. <laughs> well, it's it's just I think it's just my relationship with with music is just I'll listen to what I like no matter what I'm feeling, and I don't need my music to represent a certain feeling for me because it won't change how I feel. I don't know. But that but that's okay. But it's it's just surprising because I can't imagine, for example, a, a marriage with a, like really emo song playing behind. <laughs> sure. Or on or on the other side, uh, or not that man. A funeral. A with funeral yeah, with a ska song behind. Yeah. Well, but 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 well, maybe I'm not, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just I I, I can't compute yeah. those two together. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess for that, I understand. But, like, those are public occasions. But, you know, versus what I will listen to in my day-to-day -day life, it doesn't really have an impact. Uh, maybe. No. Ma maybe I'm too, in too into it. Maybe I don't have, like, the, the perspective. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, so I think we've, we've probably, we've, we've, Gone, done the rounds for our summer songs and what makes a summer song and well for you mostly what, what makes your summer songs because for me I just I don't know I, I don't really uh, have a strong opinion on that um, but it was interesting because there are all these articles and all these playlists for summer particularly so you're obviously not alone in that Probably, I, I'm maybe not the target audience for the summer hit of the year, yeah. but I'm because still. You're, yeah, you're you're still, but I, I think because your playlist isn't what's popular summer songs. Really know? not. So, but, but but maybe if I dig a bit, there's like a couple of songs there. I, I will share my playlist, and I, I open myself to some other guilty pleasure. There's a lot of Sheryl Crow in that playlist. Really? Because to me, Sheryl Crow feels summer. I don't know why, but I, I can see the imagery behind, but I, I always listen to that during summertime. So, mm -hmm. and, and I will ask a question. If someone that listened to us right now, what is your summer song? Or, or if you don't, if you, maybe you don't, like Lily, you're dead inside and you don't <laughs> enjoy music. It's okay, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This is Sparkling Harmonies. We're your host, Lily, and the dead what? inside person. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so let us know if you have specific summer playlists or if you're like me and you just listen to whatever, whatever. Because um, like I've, I've listened to emo songs at the beach with <laughs> and I had no problems with it. Um, and uh, come back and listen to us next time. Bye. Bye.